Welcome to our travel channel. In this video, we explore Normandy beaches and their World War II historical past with our friend Jill. He and his family have lived in Normandy all their life, including during the epic D-Day invasion battle that took place here over 75 years ago. We need to see in Normandy. La plage fait 7 km. Bonjour from Northern France. As per our subscribers' request, in a recent poll, this is part 3 of our France road trip series. This video is subtitled in English, French, and Spanish for our viewers. Beautiful day here in Normandy. Sunny, reaching the sunset. We're releasing more travel videos like this. So remember, click subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss the next video. Beaucoup, beaucoup de morts. 75e anniversaire, dernièrement. A lot of history, uh, sad, war, death, sacrifice. Um, how do I feel about that? I think war is bad and no soldiers or people should die by the hand of other human beings but a lot of this happened here. Are they brave soldiers? Are they stupid soldiers? Is it stupid governments that want power? Um, are we glorifying war and death and freedom and killing and for what cause and what's freedom? What's freedom of choice? Those are all interesting questions. I don't have all the answers, but I asked them for you to think about. And this site is not only beautiful, but historic. And this site allows us to think about you know, the beauty of life of people of nature and what should we be really fighting for. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> Normandy beaches. So further over there they tried to create an uh, airfield. Uh, right here behind me they created a makeshift port that wasn't very useful. They came with amphibians that weren't really working. Some strategy worked, some didn't work. Uh, they pulled all the effort, intellectual, bronze and blood to try to get this beach. Uh, and they did and they lost dearly for it. Germans lost, Canadians lost, American lost. Um, a lot of uh, British force coming from the channel. So this is uh, some of what happened. In this map, we can see the different Allied armies and their respective beaches they invaded on June 6, 1944. If you're enjoying this video, hit that thumbs up button and please share with a friend. dans ce coin qui a grandi dans ces dunes et qui est très très heureux aujourd'hui de les faire découvrir à un couple de Canadiens super sympa et bienvenue en Normandie et que le Canada découvre la région et transmette cette belle région au Canada. Totalement était jeune. Jill hosts us in his beautiful farmhouse that looked like an European small castle or mansion to us. He was also hosting a German student, Sophia, who works on the farm for the summer. Uh, Sophia. Jill's family were obligated to host 
Germans during the France occupation that lasted four years. Yet, they say that the ones living here were nice people. Que la fête commence. Bon. On les oublie un petit moment. Ouais. Les saucisses et merguez sont prêtes. Oui. Mon pauvre chien, t'as faim, toi. Ça te fait un appétit, tout ça. Hein. Many Germans lived for several years in this huge house during occupation in the 1940s. Jill tells us more stories in his own words later in the video, so make sure to stick around to hear what he has to say. The breakfast was as delicious as the supper. We say bye to Sofia and head back towards the beautiful beaches. Okay. Les deux guerres en fait, la première et la deuxième guerre mondiale. Avec les. Avec les. Ah bah il y a toujours le coq français, enfin souvent le coq français, ouais. La croix monument, j'ai vu là, c'est le calvaire. Today, or Operation Neptune were part of a larger ally operation to free Occupy France called Operation Overload that lasted until August 30th, 1944, when Paris was liberated and German forces retreated across the Seine. Besides the French civilian casualties, there were more than half a million military casualties in less than three months, over 50,000 dead or missing. We visited the American Cemetery and Memorial at Colville-sur-Mer. There are many British and Commonwealth cemeteries across Normandy, including camps and plains near Sorbish. The largest of the six German cemeteries is a la Camp with more than 21,000 German soldiers' graves. The Memorial de Caen is a museum and peace memorial in the city of Caen, near the D-Day landing beaches. There is a non-violent sculpture by Swedish artist Carl Frederick Rutherford. C'était leur affectation en fait. Je dirais euh, par exemple 70e bataillon de tanks. Il y a juste deux ans de différence. Ils sont tous les deux le 4 juillet. Vraiment ouais. Ça, c'est la même maison où tu as Non, ça, c'est la maison où maman y est. Ouais, ouais. Maman, en fait, est née à 10 km d'ici. Moi, mes parents sont arrivés, enfin, mes grands-parents sont arrivés là en 1903. Ah, ils prenaient la cheminée pour euh, quand ils étaient là, ils savaient que euh, ils avaient la cheminée, et ils savaient qu'il leur fallait la cheminée de telle heure à telle heure. Ils faisaient leur, euh, leur cuisine, ils mangeaient dans la salle, ils gardaient la salle quand même pour eux, la pièce de côté. Ils mangeaient dans la salle, ils allaient manger. Ils 
Et quand ils avaient, quand ils étaient là, c'était le feu, c'était eux. Ils avaient Il y avait autre chose, ils laissaient, mais euh, s'ils pouvaient de couper que eux, ils leur faisaient une marmite, ils faisaient la place. Non, ils ne demandaient pas aux, aux personnes de cuisiner pour eux, en fait. Non, non, non. non. Ils faisaient leur propre. Ok. Ben, ils étaient pratiqués. Mais souvent, ils, avaient, ils, avaient, ils ramenaient des choses, donc euh, ils cuisinaient pas tout pour place. Il y avait déjà à l'époque euh, un canon tirait vers là, mais toutes les, les gaz et après chaque tir de canon, il y avait un peu de À la nuit, enfin nous c'était notre terrain de jeu quand on était gamin, mais on jouait partout maintenant. On les connaissait tous les trous, mais celui qui le fait en courant, qui ne voit pas le trou. Là. There are also soldiers, memorials and plates, statues. There are many grim reminders, including national flags of the atrocity that occurred on this beach. But today, we can see people fishing, enjoying, swimming, even if in the sometimes cold water. The sunset in life here is beautiful, and what we enjoyed the most about our trip get to discover this region, its history, and our friend Gilles, which was so gracious and admirable host for this small stop in the big country of France. Catch us on the next time for more adventures in the France road trip. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Make sure to catch our next video where we reach famed Mont Saint-Michel in its absolutely unique location. From the road and crossing the Normandy Bridge, we eventually reach Saint-Michel, which we can see from the road. Come back next time to see this unique UNESCO World Heritage Site. Gil. <laughs> Have a beautiful day.